A showdown over tax relief going on right now in the House. Democrats are trying to prevent an extension of the Bush tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans and extend the middle class tax cuts. Republicans say they are playing political games and risk destroying any hope of a bipartisan compromise. With us now, Maryland Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings. I understand that the debate is underway. The vote is going to take place uh, in an hour or so from now. Why take this vote? Because most people agree, Congressman, that this is purely symbolic. It's not going to survive in the Senate. So you're going to basically vote, understandably, in terms of where your politics are, for the middle class and the uh, lower income class tax cuts. But it's, it's not going to be part of whatever does become a, a, a full compromise. Well, Andrea, we have a choice. We can sit by and do nothing, or we can vote our convictions, and we can vote on what everybody agrees on. Everybody agrees that tax cuts should be extended for those uh, making up to $250,000. As a matter of fact, everybody's going to get a tax cut under our proposal. And... Um, you know, I think we, you know, we, we, if, if we don't do anything, people say, well, gee, you had uh, the majority there in the House and you didn't do anything. And, and as Steny Hoyer said this morning, this may very well be the vehicle that we send over to the Senate that, that may allow us to get some things done. We don't know exactly what's going to happen in the Senate, but at least we get this ball rolling and moving. Well, at, at this point, though, what this may end up is having no vote and then in the lame duck, I mean, after the lame duck, the new Congress is going to come in, the Republican Congress, and they'll vote a, a completely different package, one that you're not going to like very much. Well, the fact that the Republicans are going to do what they're going to do. I mean, uh, if it were up to me, Andrea, what we would be voting on today is trying to extend unemployment benefits. Uh, that's what I'd be doing because those are the people that are in the deepest trouble. Uh, those are the people that don't have uh, food for their children to eat and don't, can't, can't pay rent. And those are our fellow Americans, some two million of them. And so, I mean, you know, we've got to act. Uh, we will get to, and by the way, that's another uh, uh, proposal we'll get to vote on. Uh, but we, I mean, we can't stand still. So the, the Republicans uh, stand on the sideline uh, complaining both in the House and the Senate uh, and basically doing nothing. And again, uh, what happens in January when they take over, that's up to them. But right now, uh, we are in the majority and we've got to do what we've got to do. Uh, you know what John Boehner said, uh, not to uh, offend anybody, but his term was that it is chicken crap. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that Mr. Boehner feels that uh, us acting on a principle that we all agree on is chicken crap. I mean, I, I'm, that's a very unfortunate term. Um, and I think the American people are tired of that kind of language and that kind of attitude. Uh, Mr. Boehner should be reminded that it was 10 years ago that he, Mr. Cantor, and Mr. Pence voted uh, for all of these tax cuts uh, to expire uh, now. They voted for those 10 years ago. And so uh, we're trying to extend tax cuts uh, for those people making up to $250,000. And as a matter of fact, again, those tax cuts go to all Americans. It'll cover the 250 for those who are making above the 250. And uh, we just don't want to give those making above 250 a bonus uh, tax cut. Elijah Cummings. Thanks a lot, Congressman.